Hello, everybody. I'm Fausto Buglisi from Cybertrain University. I'd like to thank you all for uh, listening in and want to talk a little bit about a stock that we're in right now in the after hours and a uh, stock called NKLA. It was a stock that we've been trading for the past week and uh, the stock has really taken off. I'm up about, uh, you can see here on the bottom, I'm up about 13,000, almost at 12,500 right now. Stock is doing really, really well. I want to talk a little bit about and show you why it's going up after hours and basically what we do as day traders, how we know when to day trade and how we know how to swing trade. Now, NKLA was a day trade and you could see it right here. I'm going to bring up another room right here. This is actually my day trading room. It's actually the first one I start, first one out there since I started it about 25 years ago. And I want to kind of show you right here. A lot of you, if you've been watching me, uh, I've been a big fan of DraftKings. And, you know, DraftKings really wasn't doing too well for me. We did really well. We owned it at 20, ran to about 47, and then it backed off. And, you know, there comes a point where things start moving and you say, you know what, I want to move some money around, I want to start trading a few different stocks, uh, especially you want to get, you know, listen, things move and things don't move. So it kind of like died off and it broke through a major support level. How do we know it broke through a major support level? Because we saw a lot of buyers getting done. So what happened here, I got rid of it and I moved it all into NKLA. This was right around 1048. So you could see it right here. At 1048, let me bring up the uh, daily chart. Let me move this over here. This is the level three. So right around here, uh, right where we bought it, and uh, right around here, this is actually where it was, right around $44, the thing just basically took off, and it shot all the way up to a price around $61. And then the stock went down, um, nasty shake, came right down, and then shot right back up, all the way up to $75. Now, you probably want to know, what does this company do? Why are they up? Well, everyone heard about this stock called Tesla, okay? So I traded Tesla when the stock was around $60, and then, um, and then it went to 66 Who really thought about Tesla, you know, being the next uh, $900 stock? Well, this stock actually is like Tesla, but they make trucks. So you know all those 18-wheelers out there? Beautiful trucks, gorgeous. They got great technology. And um, so now what happened, the stock became a day trade and all of a sudden became a swing trade. Now, I know we have a lot of day swing traders out there and we have options traders. Well, I'm telling you right now, you could never really be a good option or a swing trader without learning how to day trade first. So this stock obviously became a day trade and now became a swing trade. So, um, so you can see how much money we're up in that position uh, as of right now. Now, I'm going to tell you a funny story, okay? Uh, I had several accounts. And right now, unfortunately, this is my day trading account, and I don't like to put swing trades in my day trading account. And I have an account with uh, TD Ameritrade, and unfortunately, I sold one stock, bought another one, and then you probably know this. You got the, three, uh, the T plus three rule. So what happened? You can't do three, more than three trades in one week. So I got nailed for that. So they wouldn't let me trade it. And I'm like, damn it. I had to, that's why it's important to have multiple accounts. Because it wasn't geared to more, because more of my IRA account, my, my swing trading account. So I didn't end up putting my day trading account, which is fine. You know, listen, there's a cash account. The other one is an IRA account. But, um, but the thing I really want to show you, which everyone really wants to know, is like, you're probably asking, why is this thing going up? You know, obviously, it's got a great story. It has really not that much to do with it. I want to bring this up. A lot of you probably watch me on NASDAQ, and I talk a lot about, and let me just uh, uh, write here. Uh, I talk about NASDAQ Book Viewer. So the thing is, um, I, do, I do events every single week. Just click on the bottom and just subscribe. And I do a whole little presentation about Book Viewer. And I talk about how the Book Viewer works on NASDAQ. Actually, if you go to our website or you look us up on NASDAQ, you'll find I'm on there, I'm a frequent guest on there. I talk a lot about it. This is how NASDAQ works. This is about 20 times more data than you will get with level two, 100 times more data than level one. So you what? Now, the way we use it is we saw the buyers kept bidding it up. And there were sellers. Obviously, there's buyers. You can see right here, you have buyers and you got sellers. So sellers kept getting executed. They kept getting the hit execute over and over and over again. So the thing is with NASDAQ, it's one book. There are multiple books. Now, you probably heard about another company uh, that I'm very big with. I do a company called Book Viewer. Now, Book Viewer, I call it level four. Now, if you look over here on level four, this is a little bit more advanced.
I'm actually going to be doing another event this week with them. And actually, if you look on my, if you subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, uh, I, I even do a little a better demonstration. But I'm not here to teach you about the platforms. I'm here to teach you why we're up, you know, why we bought a stock at 20, 25, you know, and the stock on a swing trade. No, and that stock right now is at 74. And then as a day trade, why we know to hold that at 53. And now it's at, it went as high as 77. It's all about these orders right here. Now you see these big line, these hot bar, bars right here. These are um, these are orders that were out there that make resistance. Now these orders, you could see there were several hundred thousand shares orders out there on the bid and offer. These sellers got executed. Listen, I don't care who taught you how to trade, but I think we all could agree on this: how do stocks go up and go down? Supply and demand. That's it. That's all you need to know. Supply and demand. If you follow the buyers and you follow the sellers, it would just make things that much easier. So if you want to go out there and be, you know, a technician, an analyst, if you want to learn and pretend to learn how to read Fibonacci's and MACD's and 200 moving averages and everything else, then you know where you are? You're a lagger. It's the being a leader which makes you a best trade. How you become a leader? It's not about, you know, you them following you. It's you following them. Do you ever feel sometimes you feel like somebody's like they're trading against you? Do you ever have that situation where you thought as soon as you buy it, the thing goes down. As soon as you sell it, it goes up. Honestly, it's not. It, it, they're not watching you. I know it sounds ridiculous. You're probably thinking of big bros watching. They're not watching you. The problem is you're not watching them. That's the problem. So the thing is this. If you, you want to learn how to find stocks like NNKLA, or, I mean, I can go down the list. Stocks like, these are stocks that we trade, and you can see them all right down here on my account. My account. Hertz today. <laughs> $3 to $6. Uh, NYMT. $3 to $3.60, not the greatest. OAS. $1.40 to two twenty. S R N E. Four twenty to five dollars. Val. One twenty to two twenty. Will. Great stock. Buck fifty to four dollars. And then last but not least, those are all day trades, by the way. That's why they're zeros. And then you have the NKLA. Forty to almost eighty. If you like it to find stocks like this, and you want to know how we find them and where they go, and what, if they're going to continue to go higher and then lower then all you have to do is stop pretending and subscribe to us now, like us on YouTube, okay, and get into my live uh, trading room every single morning, every morning at 9 a.m. and see what real professional traders are and you'll see why I've been doing this for 25 years and why all those, uh, most of those schools that you're seeing out there, a lot of them are my students. So it's not too late to learn. We know what's going on with the coronavirus. We know what's going on with the with the riots and everything. Are there opportunities to make? Is it a crash? Whatever. Some of you are like, I don't understand. Why is the market up? We're literally almost 2,000 points. We jumped. You can see right here. We're up 460 points. We literally went from 18,000 in less than a month and a half. We're almost back to where we started. And we got 13% uh, unemployment. Well, you know what? It's probably time for a new career. So if you're worried about getting that stimulus package of $1,200, well, guess what? How about making $1,200 a day? That's why people love this job. So once again, if you want to learn how to trade, ladies and gentlemen, you want to learn how to play the game of day trading, if you want to learn from the original day trader that I've been doing for 25 years, subscribe to us, like us, and come and join us live every morning at 9 a.m. Thanks for watching, and happy trading, and be safe.